Okay, up next, we're crossing over to Los Angeles to talk to this woman. Uh, she thinks on the left there. She thinks she's Marilyn Monroe reincarnated. Uh, Sherry Lee Laird will tell us her story next, so you can make your own mind up. Hi there. Now, exactly 44 years after screen icon Marilyn Monroe died, could it be possible that she's alive and well and living in California? Well, yes, it could be if you believe singer Sherry Lee Laird and a leading American psychiatrist, because Sherry believes that she is Marilyn Monroe reincarnated. Well, good thing we've got them both here, isn't it, to challenge them on this. Sherry and Dr. Adrian Finkelstein join us from L.A. Now, now what makes you think you are Marilyn Monroe reborn, Sherry? Uh, something that's happened since my childhood and simply the fact that I didn't want to be so I didn't really give it much thought it kept forcing itself on me so it's like partly psychic partly emotional several things so what do you mean things that happened in your childhood talk us through when you when you first thought this is strange or when things first became apparent to you well things got strange first and then like what I would be experiencing was chest pains at five years old and uh, crushing chest pains right across my arms and chest all the way and it was like a bearing down and it felt with a strange sense of remorse and regret and shame and a really vile and disgusting feeling and then you know that happened all the way through my life up until the regressions but along with those um, feelings of chest crushing pains what would happen was like at 11 years old I would start getting flashbacks some feelings of places and things that I couldn't recognize and then the first real eye-opening experience was when my aunt sang uh, a kiss on the hand oh, I was sitting on her knee it was just like a dinner time and um, I had like whoa it's just really strange it felt like it was me that she was just talking about felt like it was my song I recognized everything but then of course I was just a child so I forgot all about it afterwards so it, were you even aware uh, of who Marilyn Monroe was because one of the other things that, that, that may I suppose have made you think that there, that there was a connection here or, or a resonance here was the fact that you were born nine months after she died so you you weren't aware of her necessarily as a young girl were you no, and not really. And you know, in Canada, she's not that popular. My parents moved from Scotland, and I, with my brother, we moved to Canada, and I don't recall her being popular at all. And it wasn't until my 20s that I started to even investigate who she was at all. And I said, I, f I need to know, because this was driving me crazy. And when I, when I did start finding out things that confirmed a lot of the things that I felt and I knew, I that it got crazier so I thought I've opened a vortex you're not supposed to know I don't think you're supposed to remember and that's it got worse and that's how I contacted my doctor now dr. Adrian Figgelstein uh, sitting next to you there is any of this possible yes as a matter of fact uh, uh, to answer a lot of questions people um, would need to read the, uh, the book and it's Marilyn Monroe returns the healing of a soul I work with Sherry for um, eight years in order to come to this product and also is the web page pastlives.com that would give a lot of information um, certainly there's a lot of solid scientific work I did as a university professor and uh, being involved in this for 30 years with past life regression therapy and research so uh, I could find through past life regression on the hypnosis with Sherry Lee that happens to be an excellent subject that she revealed secrets of Melly Monroe that, yeah, that don't that, appear even in public record I, I mean I wonder only because we're tight for time uh, we, we're have, having a busy morning this morning Dr. Figgle so I just want to say that there are going to be some who might suggest that this is a, a bit of a commercial opportunity for both of you you're holding your book up there and you've advertised a website and, and and things like that and, and Sherry you're a singer and you're producing songs I mean this is certainly getting you a lot of publicity sure. okay the book is uh, basically um, for a message to the world this troubled world uh, a message of peace uh, that there is hope that we shouldn't give up uh, the message is that uh, there is a truth in reincarnation and can heal people and okay. can give peace to people. Okay, Sherry, are you, are you doing this for the money? Absolutely not. And funny enough, I don't really need to be here because I didn't write the book. But, you know, I feel that I'm offering this with Doctor for the world because it's so harmless. Reincarnation, just, the, just to ponder it, is very harmless. 
And I think a lot of the mess of the world is because they're not considering it and they're not realizing that you come back as what you hate, religious and racial hate. I mean, it, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And after the novelty of Marilyn wears off... Okay, well, look, it's been fascinating talking to you this morning. Thanks very much for, for giving us uh, how you've experienced life. Okay, thanks very much yes, indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. 14 minutes to nine. Uh, there are details on how you can vote for the wedding dress in our GMTV.